Booze Briefs Nation. How are you today? My name is Matt. I'm Derek. Hopefully you already know that, because, you know, we know basically all of you. Yeah, on a very close personal level. Yeah. <laughs> but if you didn't know who we were, we just told you, and we have little uh, lower thirds, as yeah. they call it in the business. And if you subscribe to the channel, then you know that as well. Yeah, damn right. See, there you go. So today... We're going to jump into uh, a single barrel rye from New Rift. Hey. Yeah? I'm excited about this one. It's fun. It's fun. I've had it for a while now. I said I was excited about the last one we tried, but quite honestly, I'm excited about all of these, whether I've had them or not. Yeah, they don't suck. I've, I've had all the ones that I brought, and they don't yeah. suck. You, tr you try not to buy whiskey that sucks? Try, but that's impossible. Yeah. I mean, you're going to catch one that you're like, man, this is really good, and you open it, and you're like, I've, I've made a great mistake, and this is terrible. Uh, this is, so they're a newer distillery, new riff. Hey. Yeah, see? Uh -huh. And it's got a riff, you know, like in music, that's the symbol. Yeah. Um, but this is their barrel proof without chill filtration. Ooh. I so. I like non-chill filtered stuff. Yeah. So this one was distilled in fall of 15 and bottled in fall of 19. I okay. got it, I got it before the Rhone Rhones. So <laughs> it was, I think I got it in November, December. So three and a half years ago? Yeah, basically. That's what it feels like. Yeah. feels like that. Uh, let me pour it. You know? yeah, why, don't you, why don't you do that? I am disappointed, though. I, a nice barrel-proof, non-chill filtered, and they put a cheap-ass cork in it. Yeah, they do the synthetic cork, and that's not not the best thing in the world. And it doesn't make a cool noise. Right. You need, need the sound on it. Yeah. So there's not much description on there. No. On their website, it's 100% rye. It's 95%. Really? 100%? Yeah. 95% nice. rye and 5% malted rye. Um, four years and a 53-gallon toasted and charred at New Oak Barrel. There's no shortcuts taken. We don't okay. know that. They're yeah. just telling us that. So yes. we're going on the word of the web because okay. the Internet's never wrong. It, it is yet to lie. Um, they don't give... So the appearance, extra rich, unfiltered, deep amber color. I wish I had like a sheet of copy paper or something. But, I mean, it's 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 a good color. For... I was going to say, it's not as deep as the stag. Well, no, I don't know how old the stag is, but, it's, I mean, it's... this is four years, so it's a good color for yeah, four years. four year, yep. Uh, the nose, well balanced between nougat confection and rye-derived spices such as mm. black pepper, mm -hmm. clove, mm -hmm. grains of paradise. Mm. And pink peppercorns. I think the only other time I've heard of Grains of Paradise being mentioned is in a Sam Adams beer. Isn't it like their summer ale or something? They say yeah, Grains of Paradise. Yeah. What the hell is that? Yeah, so the taste on this one, they're saying it's a broad, fulsome mouthfeel. A sweet, spicy, savory interplay developed into floral rose and red fruit notes. I shouldn't say this. <laughs> you should. Now, you, now you've opened the bag. But is it better to have a broad, fulsome mouthfeel than a fulsome, broad mouthfeel? <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. Okay. Oh, let's go right into the finish. <laughs> Fine length and detail, showing potent rice spices, which last and last. If I'm going to be impotent, I might as well look impotent. <laughs> mm-hmm. It has been a while since I've had that one, and man, it it so packs a punch. Fifty six, fifty six, yeah. It packs a punch. It's funny the heat that I get on it though, alcohol wise. It's all like at the front of my palate. It's not. Yep. It's not on the finish. It's it's not on the way down. It stays right like right behind your teeth. Yeah, because I would say most of these other ones where you're dealing with fifty plus percent bourbons. Yeah. It gets you on the way down where the heat sticks with you. This is all like right up front. So like the way different types of spicy peppers hit you. Mm -hmm. Some clear your nose out, some are right up front, some burn your throat. Yep. Some this burn is... later. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> yeah, this this one is all up front. Yeah, and I don't, I don't mind it. Actually, no. I want that out of, I mean, a single barrel rye. I want mm -hmm. that out of that. That's that distinctive flavor to me. And this yeah. is more of a, it's rich because I'm still, I'm still tasting it. Mm -hmm. I'm still getting that, that coating, that broad woman mouthfeel <laughs> it's still there but i think it's got a lot of i don't even know if it's the, a word you use for it but like spiky flavors yeah that's i have a tough time describing 
some of the flavors and the, the scents in rye. But to me, I, I call them like bright or almost like prickly. Yeah, yeah, spiky. Yeah, They're like it, it pops you a little bit. Yeah. And then it, there's that underwhelming or underlying kind of smoothness mm-hmm. to it. And I've heard some people say dill. I don't get dill out of this, and I don't love dill anyway. Oh, God. But I've heard some people say that with rye. Huh. Not, th- not this bottle, but just rye in general. They associate it with dill. Well, they're wrong. There's no wrong answer except for dill or bubble gum. You're never going to get bubble gum out of a rye. You, you shouldn't. You shouldn't, no. Unless somebody dropped it in the barrel and they were <laughs> stilling. Eating a lot some. of processes that that got through to get to you. Hmm. So we haven't done another single barrel rye before. So we really don't have mm-hmm. anything that we've done to compare to that. And honestly, I don't even think... I don't think the, mm. the Willet is not a single barrel. I don't remember. And we did not do a video of that. We we just we just enjoyed that off camera. Just tasted it, yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. I gotta yeah. add that to the list. I added a little bit of agua there. Yeah. So apologies to all the people who appreciate our scientific method. None of you. We did not add water to the crown noble rye because it was just so damn tasty. We didn't <sighs> like kids in a candy store. We there. didn't want to mess that one up. But this one, especially being barrel strength, I'm gonna add a little agua. Mm. It softens up and, and blooms the nose a little bit. Mm-hmm. See, I've the vast majority of this bottle, minus about four of these glasses, small pours. Uh, I've had. On the rocks, mm-hmm. and that's my preferred method of it. Mm-hmm. It's really good here. I'm still getting the heat on the tip, the bottom tip of the tongue. It didn't change any of that to me. See, I get it now, a little bit more on like the roof of my mouth and the sides of my tongue. Yeah, the it's distributing the alcohol a little that's bit more. That's probably just the water just kind of yeah. nutrient it down a mm-hmm. little bit. I like the um, I like the bottle on it too, like that that faded smoke mm-hmm. from like top to bottom where it's clear. You get about right here, and you really don't know how much you have in the bottle. And I, like, I got off my shelf today, and I was like, oh, how much do I have? I'm like, oh, crap. I got a whole lot less than I thought I did. Whoops. Yeah. How that happened? Yes, I'll have to buy more. <laughs> but you can't find it in North Carolina, which Damn. sucks. I got to buy it on the internet. Oh, well. I mean, yeah. so I added to an order. But that's just, ah, you know, good stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You can't get it. Yeah. Unless you're paying a premium for it, or you find a place that you trust. Ship mm-hmm. that's not going to gouge you. Uh, I think I paid. I honestly don't remember. I think it was like fifty six dollars or something like that. Uh, for some reason, I remember you telling me sixty. Yeah, it, it was somewhere right around there. Plus, I paid the shipping on it. I had that in one other bottle. So, for something new, something I can't get around here, I was fully content on paying a little bit extra for it. Man, um, I'm smelling the rye a lot more now. Yeah, you smell like a loaf. Like it's yeah, <laughs> a bread. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. I like it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Totally different animal. Oh, my God. Yeah. Like, you wouldn't, if you put them down next to each other, you immediately go, yeah, that's, that's, this is this one, and that's that one. There's mm-hmm. no comparisons to totally different This things. tastes like the rye that I'm used to drinking. Yep. This tastes closer to bourbon. That t- yeah. Which is strange because this is still 90% rye. Yeah. And 45%. So it's not like it's dumbed down either. No. They didn't basil Hayden it. <laughs> that was another thing. When, uh, we actually ran into each other at the ABC store because we have problems. And we, we were there at the allocated shelf and we saw some different fun stuff. And one of them was the basil Hayden 10 year. We were both a little bit intrigued, but I'm gun shy on anything basil Hayden based on the dark rye. Yeah. And how awful that was. It's just their general, their normal basil Hayden's. It's good. Is it worth $40? If I'm going to a restaurant and I see that on the list versus other things, I would order that. Okay. But is it something I'm clamoring for to have on my shelf? No, I got other things I'd rather spend the money on. But, and they didn't have a price tag up for it yet, so I don't know how much it was. I think that one's 70 Jesus. 65 and, or $70? But it's bottled at 40%. Like, don't... Strip. It's got a really cool bottle, though. It's got a little copper thing on it. Cool, but don't strip out all that flavor. Yeah. You're going to make a 10-year product. Yeah. Anyway, that's my, that's my high horse. Oh, yeah. Well, hop down and let's rate this thing. All right, so I, I gave the first rating on the Crown Royale. Um, I don't have much to compare it to in, it, in its weight class, per se, 
but I think it's a good 86, 87. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it's something I will buy another one when I get down a little bit further in the bottle. I will buy another one. I want to have that on my shelf. I yeah. like to, you know, my father-in-law had some of this, and he's not, he drinks the lower stuff. He doesn't drink barrel, barrel strength. Yeah. So he had it, and he goes, whew. They should just give this to everybody. This will this will cure the corona. So he's like, "Oh, we got to get the riff. Got to get the riff." So he <laughs> likes it, and I, I keep. I have the regular uh, bourbon as well on my shelf. Really love that one too. It's not the barrel strength, but um, I I think it's an eighty six or an eighty seven. Mm-hmm. It's good. It's a way, it's above average. Yeah, way above average. I think it's not. You know, I'm not gonna bust down the door if I see six online somewhere to mm-hmm. go run in and grab it but if I have a chance to buy it I will yeah I think I'd go 87 on it the reason I, I like it is I like the contrast between those bright spiky flavors whatever the hell we're calling them mm-hmm. with I know people don't like to talk about mouthfeel but it's important like the, the mm-hmm. chew the, the viscosity of it it's got a good amount of chew to it with those bright flavors so I like that it gives me a little bit of everything yep and it's an even spice too yeah, yeah, this is nice. I like that. Uh, yeah, I'm glad I got to share it with you. 87. Yeah, I appreciate it. For the first time. Yeah. Ever. 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 Uh, all right, guys. Well, I mean, you know, what you should do is you should probably like us, follow us, subscribe, for one. Yeah. That'd be great. Do, do all those things. I'd like that. It doesn't take a lot of time. Hit the subscribe button. And then no. if you're on Facebook or Instagram. You can always delete the notification, too. But yeah. at least you're getting them. So yeah. that way you know, because what we're planning on doing is putting more than one episode out a week. So that way we can kind of you know, get a little bit more presents out there. And it's the holiday season. People are going to be off. They're going to be clamoring to go out there and buy some gifts. So let's, uh, let's give them some ideas. Oh, right? yeah. I mean, why not, right? you got 8 to 11 minutes. Because that's yep. generally how long our videos are. So, go on, check it out, uh, see the past videos, and uh, we got some fun stuff coming up. we got some budget battles in the works as well. We're going to create a bracket and have a big tournament. For yeah. It. It's going to be noise. And then we're even going to do a special episode, I think. Uh, still working out the details. An after-school special? Hi. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, Dare is going to sponsor it. Oh, wait. No, they're not around anymore. Um, Mama Matt wanted me to try whiskey at school today. Shucks. Uh, we're going to do like a bar staple episode. Yeah. Where we pour ourselves a drink, and then we're going to talk about, you know, different kinds. Not just bourbon or whiskey, but what else should you have on your bar? You mm-hmm. know, what's a staple? Yep. And we'll see how that goes. But uh, We're going to have a, a whole table full of various creme de menthe. Ooh, yes, yes, God, yes. that sounds awful. All of the schnapps. Uh, we're just going to uh, do a, a whole blitz of schnapps, and then we're going to snort them. It's going to be awesome. Uh, we're butter, not going to do that. Butterscotch schnapps and, like, maybe some 99 bananas. Ooh, yeah. That sounds terrible. Bring, bring in the college crowd. Well, we're not going to do those things, but the other things that Matt talked about, we are going to do. So yes. stay tuned, subscribe, tell your friends. If you enjoy good liquors, keep watching our channel. We got more good liquors coming your way. Cheers. Cheers, y'all.